hi guys welcome back to Jurutronics. if you're new on this channel welcome so on this video we're going to continue with our zimsec a level computer science array problem solving series so on part one we did the introduction to arrays and a little bit inside of how your basic work so now in this video we're going to do the binary search on arrays we're going to cover the binary search algorithm and we're going to answer two questions from the zimsec past papers one from 2017 and one from 2019 so now let's get started so the way that i'm going to explain this is going to be simple i would want you to visualize how the binary search work at the same time we would want to generate the algorithm for the binary search so uh, i'll just create a new project here mind you i'm on console application here binary search I'll just zoom out a little bit so first what we need is a sorted array right so on a previous video we did a serial search but on serial search it doesn't matter if the array is sorted or not but when we are dealing with binary search our array has to be in order maybe it can be in descending order or in ascending order but it has to be in order so here we have our array and we have the target the value that we are looking for inside the array so what i'm going to do now i'm going to create um i'm going to create our array uh sorry it's dim array is integer and we have created our array here so now uh dim target as integer and our target the one we are we need to look for is case the three and later on i'll change this to be dynamic so that a user can enter the value once to search for inside the array okay so now the next thing that we will need are the pointers we need two pointers we actually need three pointers one that will be pointing at the lowest index of an array and the one that will be pointing on the highest index of an array and the one that will keep on pointing at the midpoint of an array so first we need an i low which is the index low and in the i high so let's just quickly create those variables so dim i low as integers and dim i high as integer so our i low will always point at the lowest index of our array and the lowest index of our array initially is zero right so our highest index of um, uh, our array if we count this from 0 1 2 3 going on our highest index is 21 so we say 21 here so now what we need to do is um we have to look for the value for the target case the three inside the array and the way we're going to do this we're going to iterate so the iteration structure that i'm going to use i'm going to use the do while loop structure I want to use the while loop structure because i would want to check if the condition is satisfied first before actually uh, executing the loop body so what would be our termination condition when we say now we stop iterating and this is when our i low is greater than our i high, i high so we only want to iterate the loop body when our i low is less than or equal to i high why because our lowest index of our array cannot be greater than the highest index of our array so the moment that happens it will stop the while loop do while loop so we now have our loop and we said we also need another pointer which will always point at the midpoint right and this will be i middle i'm not sure if i'm just supposed to use one d though let me just use one d i middle as integer as integer and the way we can get the uh, midpoint of our array uh, is simply just say i middle is equal to I low plus I high divided by two. That's the way we can find the, the midpoint of our um, our array. Uh, the next thing we need to do 
we need to check if the target is equal to the midpoint value right so this is why the binary search is actually called the divide and conquer algorithm it would want to quickly find the value it is searching for so we can just say if our target is equal to what array i mean so i explained this in part one uh, we are referencing on the array and we are going to get the value at this index so we can say 21 uh, plus 0 divided by 2 it will give us it will give us this this value so some programs you can round up and some programs can round down but this pro the, the, the algorithm will still work the same so now what happens if our target is equal to the to the midpoint value so we need um, we need a variable here and we're just going to say Jesus Christ our variable is going to be found as boolean and we just set it to false by default is already false so um, now we can just say our found is equal to true and when we have found the value that we're looking for there is now no need to keep on iterating because this will be an endless loop so what we need is an exit exit do right so we exit the do else now what if we don't find the target at the midpoint what we're going to check for now is if the target is less than this or you can actually check if it is greater it now depends on the way you want to approach it so for for now let me say i would want to check if our target is less than so let's say i was checking for 12 right it will be less than 19 so if it is 12 we now know that the upper part there is no way we're gonna find 12 uh, from 19 up to 95 these are greater numbers than the one that we're looking for so we we'll discard the upper half right so the way we're going to discard the upper half we is by simply redefining our i high and we put our i high here so now we will be no longer looking at these values we'll be now looking at from zero to nine we just say i may do minus one that will be our i high so i'll show you actually what i'm saying if our uh, if target if target else if actually i need an else if here else if target is less than our array i may do that's when we discard the upper half and we said to discard the upper half we just simply redefine our i high to be equal to i may do minus one because already we know that the, the, the value at i may do is not what we are looking for so we also discard it so now uh what if it is for uh, for instance at uh, this example our target is actually greater than 19 meaning that we no longer need this section of our array we only just need to check um from 24 to this value so how do we do that i'll just say else here or oh, we can actually sell else if else if targets is um is greater than our array i may do so what i'll need to do now i'll need to redefine i low so say i low is now equal to i may do plus one okay so we just move the i low here at this part so we come again and we loop we come back because our i low is actually still less than the i high and also we haven't found our target so we come again and loop so uh, now we are looking from the index 11 and 21 so if you add those and divide by 2 you find um, the, the i made you being 16 and we again check if our target is less than the, the midpoint value and in this case is actually also not less so we discard the lower half 
by redefining our ILO and we say I ILO is now equal to I middle plus one. So now our ILO is at index 17 and our I high is at index 21. We again do the same. If our target is less than the I mid value and in this case it is actually less. From index 20 to index 21 we now no longer need this section so we redefine our I high and now we have index 17 and index 18. So depending on the language uh, or depending on the program it will after adding 17 and 18 it will round up or round down so again now check if our target is um, is less than the mid value and this case we discussed the lower half and we're just left with one index we now check if our target is uh, equal to the midpoint value and this time is actually true so we exit the loop so let's come back to our program and see if our program is working fine so the way i can do this i can just simply say um i can just say if found is equal to true then i can just print something here uh, console dot right line and just print our targets target is found and else uh, console dot right line the right line our uh, target is not found our uh, target is not found all right um that should be it so now we just need console dot read key so that our windows stay open so let's run this program so it's saying now our target is found okay so let's try a number that is not in the array so i'm sure 61 is not in the array so let's run that our target is not found so our program is actually working so let's just simply change this so that um the user will be able to input the number that he or she wants to search so we can just say console dot right line so we just say and a number to search then our target here will be equal to console dot read line and uh, now we just clear this part if we run this program now and the number to search if we say 64 and press end our target is not found because it's not in the array uh, let's try a number that is inside the array uh, let me try four i um, think four is in the, our target is found okay so now our program is working okay so now we're done with the uh, our binary search algorithm so now let's answer our um, questions from some like capacity papers one from 2017 and one from 2018 2019 so before we do that just a quick word on what i've been doing uh, i haven't been posting videos from the few past months and i was busy developing a whatsapp chatbot that prepares anyone who wants to take a driver's license so the chatbot will prepare you so that you get 100 percent on your exams so I just put a video on how the chatbot works and also the conduct will be on that video uh, at the end of this video. So when we are, we are done with what we are doing, you can now watch that. So now let's answer our questions. Is using an object oriented programming language of your choice, write a program which implements a binary search algorithm to select the number 71 from the array below. So um, we can now just change our array here one that we have been using and we input the values 101 108 so we are looking for target our target value is a uh, 71 so we need to find 71 so we no longer need this part where user can end since we already told that we are looking for 71 and also um 
our highest index has changed here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 all right it's now 8 and let's check if this is working our target is found let's try a number that is not in the array 1 2 0 yeah our target is not found so now it's working okay so um let's look at this question from 2017 uh suppose the array a is defined as and then trace the value used in the binary search and find 101 and find also 88 so let's just do the same way as we have been doing with the the previous binary search so what we have now we have um our array and we're going to use the binary search algorithm so the first thing we're going to do we're going to identify the i low and the i high and then we find the midpoint value so the midpoint value you just say i high plus i low and then you divide by by two so we now check if the our target is the equal to the same as the midpoint value and in this case it is not equal to so what do we do we now check if our target is less than the midpoint value and again it is not less than the midpoint value so what we do we now redefine our i low so that we discard the lower half of our array uh, the i mid value plus one so that we we, re we now have our i low it's index four and our i high at mid index five again the, the the mid value can be rounded up or rounded down since we only now have four and five but our midpoint value from now is uh is at index four so we now say uh if our target is less than the, the the midpoint value and again it's actually less than our midpoint value so what we do we discard the lower half when we just redefine our i low i low is equal to i may do plus one so now our i may do so which was just five plus five i low and i high are at, are at the same position so it's just five plus five it will give you ten divided by two it will give you five and you get your i may do and then we ask if our target is um at the midpoint and now it is true so our found is close to true and then what we do do is we exit provision bot the ultimate whatsapp chat bot designed to help you prepare for the vid provisional test Provision Bot is your trusted companion for passing your driving test road rules. Answer questions, and if you make a mistake, Provision Bot will provide the correct answer. It's like having a knowledgeable instructor right by your side. Test complete. Provision Bot will give you your mark and provide valuable comments to guide your progress. But that's not all. Provision Bot also offers simplified notes for both beginner and professional drivers. It's a comprehensive resource to familiarize yourself with road rules. Whether you're just starting your journey or need a refresher, say hi to ProvisionBot now on WhatsApp at plus 263 717 507 410 and get ready to unlock your driving success.